Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Abu Shahad. Today we are going to discuss about KS, Elastic Kubernetes Service from AWS. It is a fully managed Kubernetes service. Today we are going to see a very basic introduction to EKS and we are going to create it using manual method from AWS Management Console. It is very important to understand how we can create Elastic Kubernetes Service through Management Console. This will give you a basic fundamental idea about how step-by-step -step procedure works and then you can implement any uh, automation tools such as Terraform or EKS CTF. So let's begin. To get the EKS, you have to type in the services EKS and then you will get Elastic Kubernetes Services option. Click and you will be in this particular window go to add cluster and create you can give any name here i'm giving my name Bushad eks and i'm selecting version 1.20 you can select the latest one as well for the time being i'm selecting 1.20 and then the role iam role so i already created the iam role for my previous testing so i'm just going to remove it and i'm going to show you how you can create an iam role Go to the IAM console. Now I am going to remove the existing cluster role. Select the cluster EKS cluster role and I am pressing delete now. Press delete. So role deleted. Now I can show you how it shows here. Just refresh here and it, it, it should not display any role here. This is the cached one. So there is no actual role present here. Let's create a new one. Press on create role. In AWS services, scroll down. And uh, at the bottom, you will see something called EKS. Press on that and select EKS cluster. Press next next tags here you can provide any tags if you want or else you can keep it blank as per your requirement now i am not adding any tag here click on next review and i am giving a name eks cluster role you can give any name here and even you can add any role description for the time being for this purpose of this video i am not adding any description so i am pressing create role now the role is created now let's go back refresh here you will see case cluster role has been created so select that now come down there is an option called tag this is optional you can uh, create one tag or you can keep it as blank according to your requirement click next this is the default vpc which is created along with the default account creation uh, default vpc uh, is not a, uh, a best practice for uh, for selection with the eks cluster why because eks cluster create a lot of ports ports uh, creates unique ip addresses so it will be difficult for you to manage all the IPs in a single default VPC. So it is uh, important uh, or best practice you can say to create a VPC specifically for the EKS cluster. For the purpose of this video, I am not creating a VPC uh, specifically. Uh, in, and in my future video, in my up upcoming videos, I will try to accommodate uh, some section for uh, adding the VPC uh, specific VPC for EKS cluster I will show you how we can create it now for this purpose of this video I am not adding and uh, by default all the subnet will be selected here you can remove it if it is required or you can keep it then go down and you will see cluster endpoints you can even select any security group here for the time being I am not selecting any of them uh, cluster endpoint access uh, this is 
for uh, three options you will get public public and private and private usually i select public and private or private uh, because um uh, for me i'm creating a controlled client machine to access the kubernetes services so for me even if it is private it is fine for me but if you are using a control machine outside of the vpc or is it a public machine or a machine you uh, use as, as, as a laptop or desktop outside of aws then public and private option is the best option so for this purpose of this video i'm just selecting private uh, public and private come down and you will see uh, vpc cni core dns kube proxy uh, i usually keep it default uh, these are the stable version or the default version you can even select the latest version or any other version uh, as per your requirement but i suggest you keep the default and the stable version as it is click next here you can see uh, the logging uh, option if you want to enable control plane logging you can enable any of these or all of them uh, it's uh, as per your requirement for this uh, for the time being i'm not enabling any of this clicking next now this is the review page and you can review all the, your options whatever you have selected if there is any changes required you can change it now or you can say wait all right now we uh, we are getting an error saying that us east one e does not have sufficient capacity to support the cluster uh, in this case we will remove the subnet which was part of uh, us east one e so go to the edit section in networking and when you scroll uh, the window you can see us east one e selected so you can deselect that and then come down and press next again next now create now you can see the cluster is getting created now uh, it takes uh, about 10 minutes time uh, to set up the eks cluster so let's wait for 10 minutes meanwhile i will stop this video and will uh, start will upload the next video as part two uh, in my channel thank you for watching